Hey everyone, how you all doing? Blue here, back with our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. So, how are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. I know that a lot of you guys have been super excited for the interior of the castle and we're finally ready guys. I finished up doing all the plans for the interior and I did ask for some feedback from you guys. I asked, would you like to see a survival based interior? or a actual castle style interior or would you like a mix of the two now there was actually quite a lot of comments of people who chose kind of between kind of everything really so there's a lot of people who wanted a survival interior a lot of people who wanted a castle interior and a lot of people who wanted both so i think for best for both sides guys we're gonna just go with both okay so we're gonna do a lot of the normal castle rooms so we're gonna be including a throne room a feast hall, a king's quarters, and a bunch of other rooms as well that I think will be really good. But we're going to include a few rooms that are going to be good for survival as well, including a storage room, maybe a brewing room, an enchantment room, and things like that as well. But we're trying to combine it into the castle aspects so that it looks like a castle um, and it's got the castle functions and castle kind of style. Um, but hopefully we can combine the survival aspects in there that will be helpful in game as well So without any further ado guys, we're gonna dive in today and get started And we're gonna be starting with the first biggest room as you enter the castle Which is gonna be the throne room I know a lot of people were worried that we was gonna end up with a small throne room like we did in the last castle This one is gonna be much more grand Okay guys, before we start the interior, I just wanted to take a step back for just a moment and just first of all take a look at everything. I mean this castle over the last nine episodes, we have built so much. This castle is huge and I, I gotta say guys, this has been a really fun build so far. I've really enjoyed it myself. But I also wanted to say for those of you that have been following along in survival and there's been a lot of you guys following along in survival. Um, you guys have really impressed me with your builds. You've all been sending me loads of pictures on my Discord and on my Twitter, sharing images of your builds, and I'm well impressed of them, guys, especially for those that are doing it in survival. Not only are you having to build this bit, this castle, you're also gathering the resources, mining out the area for the terraforming and stuff. I mean, guys, honestly, I am super impressed. So well done for doing this in survival, and well done for building this castle at all. You know, it's been a huge project, and it has been very fun. But there is a lot more to come guys so don't worry about that we have got loads more now later on once the castle's finished we will be moving on to doing the church and we're gonna do that as an add-on we're gonna continue the walls at the side of the castle over here and we're gonna make an extension for a church and a graveyard and maybe a few other bits and bobs i'm not sure just yet but there will be there will be more coming to the castle very soon so if you have any ideas for some extensions that you would like to see on a castle, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now, there are also more details coming to the exterior, guys. There's lots of little details that I want to come back and add a little bit later on. Maybe a little balcony at the side of this tower. Trees and bushes, decorations around little storage areas and decorate all of the, uh, the stable and the blacksmith and stuff like that as well. But today we're going to start with some interior work and we're going to head inside the castle and we're going to start on the throne room. Now, as you can see inside here, guys, I've just gathered up a few things that I might need today. I'm not honestly certain of everything I'm going to use. I've planned most of this out, but not all of it. So we're going to go with it and see how we get on today. So this is the main doorway into the castle, as you can see from this side here. We're going to grab our stripped dark oak wood and we're gonna just put a door on the inside. So for this one, on the left hand side here, we're gonna go ahead and place a stripped oak wood just here, and then two more blocks coming diagonal from that one. Then from this pillar here, we've put one here, and then two to the side. The ones in front of the pillars here are gonna be five blocks high, so we add four more. And then these ones are gonna be six, so we're gonna add five more. And the same for these two here. Just like so. Now grab your polish and a site. And on the side here we're going to break this one and this one. So they're one block apart. Put the polish and a site there because it looks like a large hinge for the door here. 
And we're going to do the same on this one here. Okay, just makes it look a little bit more realistic, I guess. Now, on the inside here, one block up from the bottom, we're going to put a lever here and a lever here. And then leave a one block gap, put one here and pull the lever down. And the same on this side. And then in the gap, we're going to put a spruce fence because it looks like a large handle or a barrier that you put a large beam through, you know, to block the door being open. You can also go ahead and do it on the front of the door as well if you want it to look like a... Um, like it opens up, so you could go ahead and do that. Put your lever underneath and your lever on top as well if you wanted. Something like this. And if you wanted to change the pattern up of the door, if you don't like it all being straight wood, you can also go ahead and mix it up with something like that. So you get a bit more of a pattern to the wood. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it all going in the same direction. Now, on the side of the door here, I'm just going to add a few of the buttons. So maybe something like that. So that it looks like the locking me mechanism that locks into this door here. So I think something like that looks pretty cool. And that's going to do for the doorway, guys. We really don't need to do anything else other than that. Now, I'm going to jump straight onto my stripped spruce wood. And before we do that, we're going to turn around. And over the back here, I want to just break this strip of planks out. Now, if you guys haven't got that strip sticking out there, then don't worry. But I also want to break this one strip coming across here, just underneath the brickwork at the top here, all right? Now, let's head over to the front here. And then right where this block is here on the corner, we're going to go one block here. Then heading down towards the back of the build, we're going to leave a three block gap. Then very important to remember here, we leave a five block gap, okay? So a five block gap will take us to there. Then we're going to go a three block gap all the rest of the way down until we reach the wall here. Okay. So now you can see if we bring this one up, we're right in line with this wall here. Okay. So let's just leave that as it was for a second. And we're going to do the same over on this side. Okay. So one here, we're going to leave a three block gap. Then we're going to leave a five block gap. Then three block gap all the way down. Right to here. Now, at this point here, guys, what would be a good idea is probably to open some of this, to open up this. What we do, where the floor is here, okay, I think I'm going to take this bit of this wall out, okay? This whole section here, I'm going to just take it all away and remove it out of the way so we've got a bit more area to work with. Okay, once that wall is out of the way, we're going to go ahead and break the top stone blocks here in the floor level, like this. Replace it with the flooring of your choice, whichever flooring you've placed on the inside here. I'm using the spruce wood. And then we're going to go ahead on the floor level inside here, bring the planks all the way around, covering up this hole here. And make sure that you light it up below as well, otherwise you will be getting mobs to spawn if you're playing in survival. Okay, once you got that all filled in, let's go over here just quickly. And I think we can break a hole just here for the moment. There we go. So that we have access to the inside of this room here. We're not going to do no flooring or anything in there just yet. We will be come, coming back and doing that a bit later on. But I just wanted to make a little pointer so that you guys could see that that led through to another part of the castle. Okay, right. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to come up to the next floor up here. Okay, and what we're going to do is right at this point here, at the same level as this door at the back, it will be the same level as that door on the front and the levels that we've got around here. We're basically going to go ahead and just for now, we're going to just fill this in as another floor. Okay, now if you are doing this, I would suggest doing it from above up here, placing all of your planks and then make sure you add your light in as you're going around. Otherwise, this is going to become infested with mobs in survival. So make sure you get your lighting in as you're placing your planks. So go ahead, fill this all in, fill it in all the way up to this edge here and all of the gaps around the sides here, wherever you can kind of fit in the floor. Go ahead and do so. You can even bring it into here. So where the floor level is, if we break this one row here, we can also make sure we bring the planks inside here as well. Okay, so go ahead, do that, get that all in place. And you probably want to break yourself a doorway just temporarily, just in this wall here so that you know there's an extra section inside here. 
Let's go ahead and get that all in place. Okay, once your flooring is all in place, we're going to go ahead with our strip spruce wood and we're going to start filling in our pillars. So we're just going to fill them all the way up until we touch this ceiling here, okay? And we're just going to do that all down this side here and then all down this side over here as well. So let's go ahead and get them all in place. Okay, now that we've got all of our pillars in place, let's go ahead and get in some beams. So starting down by the front where the door is here on the spruce wood here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. On that sixth block there, we're going to bring a beam all the way across, okay? And we're going to keep bringing that across all the way until we get to the end. Just to here. And then from the opposite side over here, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to bring it down to the opposite end. Just like this. And just be sure when you're placing these guys, make sure that you get them to match up. Because as you can see, I actually placed a few wrong there. Just make sure that they all match up and are in the right lines. Okay, right. So now that that's all in place, guys, we're going to go ahead and now right in between these gaps here. So where we've got these, we want to place a strip lock here, 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 here. So these are all in the middle sections. This one is the wider one here, so we're going to put two here like this. Again, leaving one block gap. And then the same again on this one. Do the same on this side. And then we're just going to go ahead and raise them until they touch the ceiling. So one, two, three more on top, making them four in total. Just like this. And just do that down both sides. Okay, now that that is all in place, we're going to go ahead... And we're going to choose our secondary color. So I've got the spruce wood here. And I'm going to have my back in here as the bone block. Now you guys could use smooth sandstone or another color of your choice. Any block that you like the color of. But I think I'm going to go for the bone block. But guys, it can be anything from white concrete. I mean, you can even go for a different color. It hasn't got to be a white tone. But I personally just think the white tone looks the best. And what we're going to do with that is inside these gaps here, we're going to go ahead and put it all the way down one side like this. Do the same down this side here, and then we're going to go ahead and then raise it until it touches the ceiling. Okay, now I think what we're going to actually do here, guys, is something slightly different to what I've done in my plans. I'm going to actually go ahead and do the same thing across here. So we'll put a beam across at the same height here. We're going to put beams going up like this. And then we're going to put our bone block in the gaps like so. Okay, and just fill that up to the ceiling. Okay, now that that's all in place, we're going to start getting in our lower level walls. So let's go ahead to the back first of all. And what we're going to do here is right where this pillar is in the two corners, we're going to go one block behind and we're just going to fill this in with our bone block. Now guys, you haven't got to use the bone block. I know it's an expensive block to use. So something like white concrete or smooth sandstone will work just as well. Um, I'm just going for the bone block just because it's a little bit lighter, but you guys can choose any block of your choice It hasn't got to be the bone block So go ahead and do this fill in your wall across here Just like so Then coming down the back here We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in another main wall going all the way down, okay? But what we're going to do is if we start from this corner here, okay, there's the door at the front there. If we start from here, we're going to bring it down all of the way until we get to here, which is diagonally one in from this post here because this is our five block gap. We're going to have a doorway here. Then we're going to skip over to this last one and put in a little three block wall here, okay? On the opposite side here, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. So first of all, let's come in here and again, look, we've got this big wall here that don't need to be here. So let's get rid of this part of it, okay? We can't break any further than there because we'll be showing the outside, okay? So let's go ahead, just bringing it up to this corner piece here. 
which in case you're wondering is one two three four five six blocks in okay and just get rid of all of these okay once that wall is all out of the way and you filled in the planks in the ground as well to make it match up we're gonna head down to this one here right by the um by the door okay so fill that three block there leave the five block empty and then from this one here we're gonna just bring in our bone blocks all the way down to the very end to here and then we're just gonna raise it until we just come up to one below where this plank is here okay so let's just bring that all the way up and all the way across as well once we've got this side in let's head over to the other side here and let's do exactly the same here so we want to first of all just raise these up as high as we need which is going to just be up to here for the moment and then we'll do the same across this row here there we go all raised up now so to get the top ones in across here you're gonna have to just come in this little bit of a gap here okay just to fill that in for the moment now if we go onto the inside you can see that gives us a nice little back in on the little edges here so what we're gonna do is go ahead and just finish it off with a little upside down stair at each side like this including in these large doorways here just like that we'll do the same thing all the way through okay once that's all in place we're gonna head down to the end here and this is going to be where the king's throne is going to go and what we're going to do is we're going to build like a little kind of archway in the ceiling here and what we're going to do is we're going to replicate it on every one of these posts coming down here okay at the very top so how this is going to be is where we got the beam coming across here you're going to put in an upside down stair with two four blocks on top like this and you can do that on both sides of your walls like this then you're going to go to your slabs Put one here, then go one here and one here, one here, one here, one here. In the middle, we're going to put one there, one there. Then on top of that, you're going to put one here, one at each side of these, one on top, and then one over. One there, one over. So you have this kind of shape, okay? And we're basically going to replicate that all along here. So what we do is we'll skip over to this pillar then this pillar here this one then we're going to jump all the way over to this one here okay we're not going to try and put it here because it's going to look uneven because of the doorway so we're going to jump straight over to this one so let's go ahead and get them all in place okay once you've got them all in place we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a fence on this one and this one sorry this one and then one in the center like this just for that little extra bit of detail and we can go ahead and do that on all of them all the way down this long hallway okay now i've gone ahead and got all of the torches off the walls and what you can do now is go ahead and put in a lantern here a lantern here and if you really wanted to you could put one in the middle like this but I think it might look a little bit too much. So I'm just going to stick with the two. One on each side. And I'm going to do that down all of this side. And all on the opposite side as well. And don't forget to do it at the back near the door here as well. To make sure it's lightened up down here. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. The only other option, if you don't like this for lighting, the other option that you can do is go ahead and put beams through the center of these gaps here and then make like a chandelier that comes down. And the chandeliers are very simple to make. So if we just come in here for a minute, all you'd need to do is put a beam across the ceiling. So say like a beam of stripped oak like this. Then just go ahead and put a fence post like this, an iron bar, a fence post on the bottom of that one, Another fence post below, surround this one with your fence posts. And then you just go around and you put your lanterns underneath like this. And then one like that. So you could do something like that in the gaps if you would prefer. I'm going to stick with the lighting as it is. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner for the hall, the hallway. Because it's a long hallway and quite narrow. Um, or rather because the throne room is quite long and narrow. Um, this just... I think this just feels a little bit nicer so I'm gonna stick with it like this 
Okay, now that we've got our lighting in place, let's start working on the throne area at the back here. So first of all, we want to cover this bit here across the back on the bottom level here with some spruce planks. And then we want to bring it down in these three here, okay? So let's go ahead, fill this all up here. Now, where these pillars are here, we want to put one here, bring it all the way across and leave a one block gap here as well. Then we're just going to put a stair there, a stair there, and then put stairs across the front of these ones, just like this. Now, for the throne here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in, I think, one here and one here of our red wall. Okay, so we've got a one block out of front here, stair, then one block. Two of your red walls here, and then two up like this. Now, for this design, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a dark oak stair there, a dark oak stair there, and then one on top just there. Two here, one on top there, like so. Hmm, I think we're going to go one more on top here, like this. A slab on the very top. Slab here to make some little arms. And then what we do is we'll get our dark oak trapdoor. And we're going to place that right in front of that bit there. And of course, a little bit of carpet there. Just to, uh, just to make it look a little bit like it's raised. And I think that will do the job. That way it looks like some nice big arms coming around the side here. And yeah, I think that looks really cool. I like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is get ourselves some of our spruce slabs. And then some of our barrels. And on the inside here, in the gaps going down, we're going to go ahead and go barrel, barrel, and then a spruce slab in the center. Okay. So again, barrel, barrel, slab. Let's do that in this gap here as well. We'll skip this area here where the doorway is. And then again, we'll repeat it in here. And then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. Okay, once that's all in place, we're going to go ahead and put a fence here and here inside where this door is. Okay, and again on this side here. And then put a lantern on top of all of them like this. Okay. Then get your carpet and for here I think I'm going to actually get myself some glowstone and we're going to put some carpet coming down here. So first of all, let's work out what we're going to do. If you wanted to, you could simply just do a straight carpet like this all the way down to the front door. Just like this. But this just feels a little bit too clean for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just slightly kind of, uh, I suppose, damage it. Make it look a little bit more worn. There we go. Something a bit more like that. This feels a little bit more kind of, uh, a little bit more natural in this kind of environment. Then if you wanted to, under any of the ones, you can go ahead if you wanted to and just place in some glowstone. Just to brighten up the area and it hides the light in that way because we can then put our carpet back on top of it. Okay, so it just helps brighten up the area. And I think that is going to be good for there. On these little archways here, I'm going to go ahead in the middles like this and I'm going to put in a lantern. There we go, and that already adds such a huge difference to the lighting. Now the banner here, I'm going to go ahead and put it just underneath the um, where these these sort of overhang for the lights are, right on the pillars, um, probably at the very top, like that. I think I think it looks best. Behind the king's throne here, I'm going to put one there and one there, just hanging down, and then do the same down the other side. Now guys, this banner is very simple. There's so many different banner designs, designs that you can do. Um, but go ahead and mess around with it and come up with a banner design for your own kingdom as you please. If you'd like to see a tutorial how to do this one, let me know and I will show you how to do it in the next part of the interior tutorial. But I'm not going to cover it today. Right, okay. Now for a little bit of detail here, let's go ahead and let's just add some detail to the corner here. So maybe on the back here we could put in one of those and maybe a couple of bushes actually maybe just one bush yeah just one bush 
put another composter there and then one bush on top like that just as a little bit of decoration and then at the back here we could put one there and one there and again maybe this side we just put two just like that now later on we could add a little secret room here i know people keep saying to me about a secret room we can have a doorway here that's going to lead into a secret room or we could make something going down here um, but we'll get back to that a little later on okay so we can do something like that if we choose to at some point um if you want to make any of your floor look a little bit rough you can always go ahead and put in a just a few barrels like this even up here like this just to add extra little detail in the ground um again you haven't got to this is just if you wanted to add just you know just to make it the floor look a little bit sort of rougher it just kind of just makes it just stand out a little bit you know it just gives it a little bit more of a um just a little bit of detail i guess okay now one thing i think i'm gonna do because at the back here it is a bit dark i think we're gonna stick a lantern right in the middle there just to brighten the back of that up then i think down the sides here we're gonna put some flower pots like this and then put some flower pots like this and i think perhaps we'll alternate the red and white ones like this and then once you've done that guys go ahead and put in some armor stands in those gaps armor stands in the gaps uh, we'll do something different, I think, with these corners here. We'll make them a little bit different because uh, we don't want everything to be the same. Then let's get some armor out. And again, here, guys, you can use any armor that you want. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and use the iron armor. But you could go ahead and use any armor of your choice. It could be the leather or some chain mail if you've managed to get some from zombies. Or even the gold or the diamond if you're rich. It's up to you. And we're just going to go ahead and just put it on the armor stance like this. Okay, guys, and I think for the last one at the end here, I think what we're going to do is just put a couple of chests at each side here like this. I think that would do. And if you really wanted to, you could just put your armor stand in the center here as well. And maybe we can just go ahead and throw our armor on these guys as well. Okay, right. I think that is the room pretty much done. So what we're going to quickly do is on the inside here, okay, where we're gonna come into what is gonna be the feast hall. I've got a really cool idea for this room, guys, so stay tuned for that one. We're gonna bring a row of our um, stone up. So one, two, three, four, five on this side here. Five, make sure it's not on the inside here. Obviously, you want it onto this room here. Then we're gonna bring a row across the top here. So from the inside here, we should see this. Then place another row here. And another row here and at the very top we're just going to put an upside down stair like this to create a nice little archway and doorway going into that room and then we're going to just repeat that here okay so literally it's two blocks like this all the way up to we're level with those same on this side join it up in the middle and then upside down stairs at each side okay and there we go there is our throne room now this one is definitely a lot more grand than the previous one guys and don't get me wrong we could go so much more grand if we really wanted to and create a much bigger one but this is way more than we need you know this is perfect this is huge we've got loads of room in here and it's just a really nice point for your castle even in survival i think this is really cool plus you've got some little bits of storage here you know so it's kind of it's kind of functional for survival as well. Although this is not going to be our main storage room, this is going to be functional and helpful for some little bits that you might want to just hide around in areas like this at a castle. Okay, guys, and that just about finishes up the throne room. Now, i got to say, guys, I love the style of this one. I love all of the wood and the bone block. I think it just works so well. But like I said, remember, you can use the uh, smooth sandstone. That would work just as well in here. Um, and there's so many other blocks, you can literally just mix and match any blocks of your choice in here. You could have stone brick pillars and then have some other colors in the walls, maybe some reds or something like that if you wanted. There's so many options. 
So just go ahead, play around with it and just make it your own. But overall, guys, I've got to say I'm very, very, very happy with the way this one has turned out. I think it looks really cool and I'm looking forward to doing the rest of the rooms. I've got a bunch of cool ideas all lined up for you. So there are a bunch more rooms to do um, and I've got some really cool ideas as well. So it's going to turn out really good. And like I said, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to try and do a kind of 50-50. So we're going to try and make it look all like castle sort of things that you would have. So we want to make it functional as a normal castle, but we want to make it functional for survival. So everything's going to still have a lot of survival aspects built into the rooms that we're going to be building. And we will be doing in a, um, a storage room. We will be doing a nether portal room, but I might make the nether portal room hidden so that it's not seen and that we don't get the zombie pigmen forever spawning inside the castle. Um, and then we're also going to have a brewing room. We're going to have the stables. We have the blacksmith um, as well. There's going to be a bunch of other rooms, but guys, please be sure to let me know in the comments what rooms you'd like to see in this castle and what would you like to see if we was to do an extension now other than that guys i think that's just about it for today so as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this and you want to see more of the interior don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video but for now this is blue nose signing out and i will catch you guys in the next one